Uh, plans for domestic flights to resume negotiations today didn't materialize as some airlines and designated airports are yet to meet the guidelines set by the regulators, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. The gaps are expected to be closed before scheduled operations will begin. Lillian Izamak reports. This is Domestic Wing Lagos Airport, still under lock and key. The streets have remained empty for about three months, a departure from its hustling and bustling. Nigerians had expected the terminal to come alive, but for the regulators, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, operations remain suspended. The Civil Aviation Authority, despite all pressures coming from all quarters, will not approve the start of operations any date until we are sure and we confirm that we are ready to start in a safe, secure, organized and efficient manner. The regulators have also released the level of preparedness of the sector. Air navigation service providers scored 80%, airlines 75%, domestic airports 57%, ground handling 100%. The airlines were about 70% ready to start operation. Uh, though, though there were a few number, but the number that was available and aircraft available for those operations would have been able to fix that. The, the post COVID flights, considering that you got this, the way we can have full capacity in the industry. But unfortunately, they will find out that it was the airport side that had issues, and uh, you, we have to be very careful. This information serves as a prelude on when the five designated airports of Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, Kano, and Owere are likely to throw their doors open again. Checklist for flight resumption includes airworthiness of operating aircraft. Currency of airline flight crew, readiness of the airlines to adhere to COVID-19 preventive protocols, essential preventive gears, and training personnel on handling of passengers' protection. Staff retraining, especially as it concerns pilots, engineers, and other essential crew, is likely to be difficult since it's done abroad, as most countries' airspace restriction is still in place. The date for reopening the airport was chosen by the federal government, not the airlines and service providers. This is the reason for the suspension of resumption of scheduled operations at the airports. Lillian Ezemark, TVC News, Lagos.